All right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming the middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. Here we go. All eyes are on the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise in the fighter meeting. He is focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage yet again. Charles Oliver steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC welterweight Champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game into the most dangerous lightweight in the world, maybe the most dangerous pound for pound fighter in the world right now here in modern day mixed martial arts. Oh, nice kick. Uppercut lands now. Early round action here. Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic Muay Thai, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction. And if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy is, has tremendous power, and he sets up his strikes like not many guys in the UFC, or not many people in the UFC. Kick that was thrown with ill intent. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, pulling it on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. 
walked out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Adesanya. Oh, right into Mount. Let's work. Come on, I'll stand you up. Let's work. Oh, he got to a spot. Israel Adesanya's in half court. Nice shots landing from the top position. Adesanya getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ooh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, folks, here we go, round two. Charles Dubronx Oliver. And that man, Israel Adesanya. Oh, nice jab there by Adesanya. Nice kick, yep. Punch got blocked there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Nice jab. Beautiful job by the champion. Fighters separate from the clinch. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, that leg kick hurt. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to feel everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oliveira's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Nice jab by Oliveira. Good fight here, under two to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice job by him defensively there. All right, so he continues to attack that upper leg area, and the thigh is really starting to show some visible bruising. It's showing visible bruising, and you can see his movements are a bit labored. Look for him to try to switch his stances and try to hide that leg. 
because he has to do something. Nice head kick. Oliver doing the right things defensively. shot that he landed. Great job. And they separate. 15 seconds. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. He leapt up. And, oh, so there's the horn signal in the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Speed up, breathe. That's right, breathe. Good. Are you all right? Are you good? Okay, look. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now some separation from his clutch position. Just misses with the jab there. Submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. If he gets it across, he starts going down the head. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying on the road submission. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, great reversal to top position by Oliveira. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feet the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. He's going to tie off from here. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very he's aware he's of he's what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Final seconds. Oh, hammer fists and bunches here by Adesanya. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. 
I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. All right, so he lands his first takedown in the fight after many failed attempts. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Heel hook looks tight. Checked by Oliveira. All right, Duke Bronx pressing forward as usual, lifting up that knee, high guard. If it was a silhouette, you'd know exactly who it was. Yeah, Charles Oliveira is the man. I love watching Charles Oliveira fight. When it's lifts to build out your reach, to try to draw it out. When that leg goes up and your hands start to drop like he's going to knee, he will pop. Oh! The fight's over! Whoa! Holy! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel Alain.